SpeedyScript is a free panel for Nuke that improves the import-export of your script using the groups. It's basically an evolution of the basic functions of import and export comp nodes that you have already in Nuke and in order to save RAM, to save time, maintaining in every case your script clean and faster. For the artist, Speedy Script is a really good approach when they have to import, for example, a previous version of the script when, for example, they need some parts of the notes, some backdrops, or just to see uh, what they did in, uh, in the past. Speedy Script is also pipeline oriented, so you don't need other modules or plugins, and it can be expanded in order um, to the needs of every single company. When you download the Speedy Script, you will find this folder here. Inside, you don't have to touch anything. The only thing that you need to read is this file here. It's a small guide and you will understand how to install this plugin. So, depending from your um, operating system, you have to find your .nuke folder. Using macOS, my folder is gonna be here. So under users, my name, .nuke. And the path is gonna be something like that one. What you have to do at this point is just drag and drop this folder here, inside our .nuke. And if you don't have it already, create your init file. So it's just a, a file that you have to call init and then modify the extension. So instead of txt, you have to call it .py. That's it. So here, the only thing that we have to copy and paste is this string here. This is basically the path of our folder. So Nuke knows where to go, um, where to read it basically. So here, the only thing that we have to modify is this string here. Since, uh, as I said, um, I'm using uh, macOS, our path is gonna be something like that one. So I'm gonna copy and paste this path here, and I need just to modify that one. Just be careful, don't delete this letter here. So at this point, we can save it. And now we can just run nuke. You won't see directly speedy script. You have to go here, window, custom, and speedy script. Speedy script is just another window, exactly as node graph, curve editor, or properties. So if you don't like it here, you can just move it and put it there, as you prefer. Here you have all the free features of Speedy Script. And if you want to have a small tutorial, you can just click here or directly here. And you will go to the website where you can find the tutorial and some advices. At this point, you can also save this workspace, for example, here. We can call it compositing. Okay save and now every time that we are going to restart our nuke we will have this workspace as default in this tutorial we are going to watch the import feature this is the main feature of speedy script because uh, i guess every compositor every day is using this function a lot of time so um, we have four different ways to import uh, our script. Let's say the first one we have the file browser. So we can just select uh, a different uh, new script. We can just go here in download and just select it, for example, for, from here. And we have our script here directly. So we can just copy part of it, paste it here and then delete the group here and that's it 
or the second option we can just select the other version this is uh, it's not a repetition because uh, file browser will open the last folder that we um, were looking for other version will open automatically the folder where this script has been saved in this case the desktop so this is good if we want to select directly a previous version or just another version of this script let's say version 1 and that's it we have it here we can also import uh, more than one script at the same time so we have one script here and we can uh, just uh, watch the file path this is my the path of my script I just need to click here I go to the select this option so we can see the script has been imported and that's it so I can just control enter and I go inside the script copy and paste that's it and now I can just delete the groups last option is recent file speedy script is reading automatically my file my recent files so here I can just select all from the list one of them let's say the last one I can just import I go inside and that's it I'm here let's say I don't know if I have imported a group or not so I'm not able to find anymore my group here find group as you can see it will focus directly on the group so I can just delete it or not I can just click it again no imported script into group has been found okay that's it so I don't have any of those groups perfect so this is just about the import function of speedy script let's do a quick example we are working on the version 6 of this shot shot 10 okay so let's say that we want to grab another version of this script so we want to import another version of the same shot so we can click here and select for example version 5 so our previous version as you can see it will create a group and if we're gonna open this group we will see our script of the version 5 so for example we can just copy this part here in the node graph put it here on the side and then delete the group so we have this part here coming from the version 5 how many times uh, in a single day you have to open another script or another instance of nuke just to uh, take some notes some part of another script so this is gonna be really really fast and you will save a lot of time in this way you can also grab a script from uh, your recent file you can also copy and paste your path directly here and click on the button or you can just select your script from the file uh, browser in this way so version 2 okay and we have here the group as you can see the, you have two options here for example importing the new script uh, you can also pause the localization or you can just open the group automatically if I gonna click here check this option here we can import and just go directly inside the group as you can see here we can then select the group and that's it so easy peasy you say time RAM and you don't have to open a new instance of nuke why this is really this is better compared to this one because let's say okay we have a really huge script here and we want to import another huge script 
on the side. Okay, I have my new notes over the other script. So this is gonna be a really, really mess. And I can also import some notes that I don't like. I can import some um, connection, so some expression that can, I don't know, connect it in a wrong way with my uh, notes. And that's why I would like to avoid everything of that. So just using the speedy script. Now we will check the export function. In this case, we will export directly our gizmo or group without any annoying text. For example, the version of Nuke, we can convert directly the string gizmo to group and we can get directly the name of our node inside uh, the string. Let's watch it. So, I have to select my node, select the format I want a uh, group with gizmo and just select here, I'm gonna put it on the desktop and the name is my gizmo okay okay now file name and node name are different do you want to change the node name as my gizmo? no, I wanna keep it as um, it is so if I'm gonna check here the desktop I have my gizmo this is my node group with name and as you can see you don't have other annoying string. If I want to export this node the classic way is going here export as gizmo now same select group and now I type gizmo export it okay now let's compare these two strings here on the right I have the gizmo exported with the classic method from Nuke as you can see we have this string here at the beginning and my node is a gizmo it's not a group I don't have the name so this node is I copy and paste this part here directly in Nuke in the node graph I don't have a name as you can see here is gizmo1 this is really annoying because uh, what you have to do is uh, modifying uh, manually all this part here same if I wanted to copy and paste directly here my node from Nuke you will find these annoying strings and this X and Y pose so in my gizmo export it you don't have all the strings and are completely uh, deleted automatically by speedy script. One of the best functions of speedy script is contained here in the bonus feature. I'm going to explain it with a small example. Let's say we are at the end of our script. It's a huge, huge script. Okay, let's say. So here we have all the renders that we have done version 3, 2 and 1 ok so I wanna watch for example the script who generated this version of the script so if I'm gonna watch it here in my read node I have this new tab import script if I click here I can import the script into group or open the script in a new um, instance of Nuke if I click here my script is gonna be imported so the script who generated this read node here is imported directly into the group so I can import the script of all the other versions it's gonna be exactly the same how it works this is really really easy so what we have to do is just to insert this metadata node before your write node so I'm gonna click here put the metadata node just before your write node it works only with EXR format and remember to render out all metadata so here I'm gonna put this node here exactly I don't have to change anything so it's ready like this 
and here I have to remember that I have to do the EXR format EXR and here in the metadata line I have to put all metadata doesn't matter I can just check or uncheck this uh, um, prefix it will work exactly in the same way so if you didn't understand you have here a quick example so on the left you will find the output so the write node okay so here we have the write node with no prefix you see do not attach prefix and here you have it with the prefix so what is changing basically here in the metadata tab you will find this prefix here is exr slash nuke this is the prefix with no prefix is basically without as you can see it's just exr slash script so without slash nuke this is the same exactly the same so it's just the name of the key so this is the file that we have to read so the read node has been generated by this write node okay just click here import script and import script into group and you have here the script that generated this file exactly the same okay so let's say that you have a strong really strong pipeline so all the paths are set it and you don't have to change them manually or something like that so you can just um, write the script file so in this case if I just gonna render this node I'm gonna save this script file inside the metadata okay using this method we can easily import here a lot of other assets or geometries for example the camera related to this uh, um, to this plate or for example the lens distortion of or let's say if we have the geometries the lidar scans or a lot of elements so we can just use the metadata or the path uh, of this uh, footage to grab directly uh, elements and asset from it so 